These Photoshop editing tricks will take your color grading and skin retouching to the next level. So stay with me for the next five minutes as I show you how to do these amazing tricks. Okay, let's do this. So here's how to change a green background to a soft brown orange look. So go to adjustment layer here and select channel mixer. Okay, so this panel is going to pop up. Let me just move it here. So on the channel output, set it to red. So on red, set it to zero. Green, set it to 200. So blue, set it to negative 100. Close the panel here. From here, just go to blend mode here and change it from normal to lighten here. So this is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. So here's the best way to brighten your JPEG images in Photoshop. So go to adjustment layer here, left click on it and select solid color here. So the color picker panel is going to pop up. Let me just move it here so that we can see what's happening. So from here, just select pure white. Just drag this selection and put it here. So the code for this color is this one here. And then I'm just going to click OK. So from here, go to blend modes here and change it from normal to soft light here. Go back to adjustment layer and select brightness and contrast. So this panel is going to pop up. Brightness, I'm just going to leave it at zero. And then I'll just move the contrast to my liking. So for this image, I'm just going to take it all the way to 100. And then I'm just going to close my panel here. This is the before. This is the after. This is the before. This is the after. If it's too bright, select this layer here and then reduce the opacity to your liking. Just going to leave it at maybe 85%. So this is the before. This is the after. This is the before. This is the after. So here is the simplest and the easiest way to make the skin smooth in Photoshop. So go to window here and select actions here. So your action panel is going to pop up here. So since this is a headshot image, so I'm going to go to my beauty retouching actions and then I'm going to select auto skin retouch headshot. I'm going to left click on it like this. So this action is going to do everything for me. The only thing that I'm going to do is to go on top here. I'm just going to change the flow from 100 to 20%. And then from here, I'm just going to paint my model's skin to make it smooth and remove the blemishes at the same time. So if you've learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe and smash that bell icon so that when I put up my next video, you will be notified. Okay. I'm going to go back on the floor here and then I'm going to set it to 5% and then I'll just paint this part here. Okay. Then I'm going to zoom out, control or command minus on the keyboard. Okay. So this is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. So from here, I'm just going to make this image pop. So I'm going to go back to my actions by clicking on this button. On the beauty retouching actions, I'm going to select the first pop action here. I'm just going to left click on it. So this is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. So let me make the eyes whiter. So I'm going to go to my actions. And then I'm going to select the teeth and eye whitening. Everything is already set and selected for me. The only thing that I'm going to do, I'm just going to go on top here and change the flow from 5% to 100% and zoom in a little bit and just paint the eyes to make them whiter like this. I'm going to zoom out like this. If the effect is too much, I can always reduce the opacity here to maybe 80%. So this is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. Okay, let me just color grade it real quick. So I'm going to go back to my actions. On the skin tone gradient, I'm going to select light, medium, dark skin tones here. So the gradient map panel is going to pop up. I'm just going to open it. The gradient editor is going to pop up. I'm just going to go down here and open this folder. Left click on this to open it. And then I'm just going to go through these skin tones. Okay, so for this image, I'm going to use this gradient here. And then I'm just going to click OK. And then I'm just going to click OK. So this is the before, this is the after. This is the before, this is the after. If the effect is too much, I can always reduce the opacity here to maybe 75%. This is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. I retouched 
this photo with my beauty retouching actions pack and color graded with my skin tone gradient pack. The links to my actions and my gradients will be in the video description below. Here is how to get unlimited color grades in Photoshop. So go to layer here, new adjustment layer, then select gradient map here. So this box is going to pop up. Just change the opacity here to 30%, then click OK. Just click here to open the gradient editor. Name, leave it the way it is. Type, change it from solid to noise. Roughness, change it to 20%. Make sure restrict colors here is checked. Click on randomize and Photoshop will give you different color grades. So let's say I like this color grade and I want to save it. I can just click on new here and then it's going to be saved here. If I want more color grades, I can keep clicking on randomize here. So I like this one. If I want to save this one as well, I can just click on new here. From here, I'm just going to click OK. So this is the before. This is the after. This is the before. This is the after. Let me just close this. So if the effect is too much, I can always reduce the opacity here to maybe 20%. So this is the before. This is the after. This is the before. This is the after. So here's how you can quickly color correct your photos. So go to adjustment layer here and select curves. From here, just go on these four lines, left click on them and then select auto options. So from here, just select fine dark and light colors. Also select snap neutral midtones here and then click OK. So this is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. So if you want to retouch fast and level up your retouching skills, you should check out my beauty retouching actions pack. The links will be in the video description below. And if you want to learn how to shoot amazing portraits, you should check this video here.